Hi guys and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. Today we are going to take a look at the bigger brother of the CPU cooler that we recently done, the Thermaltake Frio Extreme Silent 14. As you can see it from the picture on the box, this is a dual tower monster carrying two 140mm fans in a push-pull configuration setup and capable of cooling off CPUs up to 240 watts of TDP. Just as with the Frio Silent 12 model, here you will also get a low noise cable adapter. Going around the box you will find some usual specifications like dimensions, socket support and so on, multilingual product explanation and a brief feature overview with some pictures of the product parts on the back. Opening up the box, here we have those two 140mm fans and their installation clips. Box with all the necessary parts for cooler installation and some user manuals of course. And here we have the cooler itself. Right off the bat you can notice that the Frio Extreme Silent 14 is one huge chunk of CPU cooler. As all dual tower design we have two separated heat dissipation towers consisting of aluminium fins with which 6 6mm copper heat pipes make a U shape going from one tower to another. Beside that the overall design is pretty standard, nothing too special in our opinion, somewhat dull to be honest and that could be a deal breaker for some customers. Thermaltake went with a uniform design in which they nickel plated the copper heat pipes for getting that overall silver look of the cooler. On the top you can see the endings of the heat pipes as well as the Thermaltake logos. Moving to the bottom onto the CPU base, you can see that it's almost polished to the mirror-like perfection, reflecting everything facing it, which is always a good sign when it comes to moving the heat away from the CPU. The two included PWM 140mm fans are really quiet and you will have a chance to hear them later on, but despite of that they are capable of pushing great amount of air, even if you decide to go with the low noise cable which brings them down all the way between 300 and 700 RPMs. The only complaint that we have on them is their non-braided cables. The installation of the cooler is pretty simple, especially with the X99 platform, you will be done with everything under 5 minutes. RAM can be put before or after CPU cooler installation, since it doesn't interfere with the installation itself. One important note is before you start with the cooler installation, make sure you've put the fan brackets on, cause you won't be able to put them later when the cooler is installed. To be honest this was one of the worst implementation for fan installation that we had a chance to try out, so be sure you learn here from our mistakes so you at least make it easier for yourself. RAM clearance on the outer sides of the cooler is on the limit as you can see it here and the nearness to the first PCI Express slot in our case is a bit concerning. I would recommend putting your graphics card in other PCI Express slots if possible. Looking at the performance figures of the cooler, idle temperatures are pretty standard with well under 30 degrees Celsius for our Intel Core i7-5960X while also being very quiet. Using the Prime95 in-place large FFT torture test we got pretty impressive results, which were competitive to some other high-end coolers on the market, temperatures ranging usually from 60 to 65 degrees Celsius. In this scenario fans were just loud enough in a way that it was more pleasant than distracting. Thank you once again guys for checking out our unboxing and review of the Thermaltake's Frio Extreme Silent 14 CPU cooler. Feel free to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to our Tactic YouTube channel or you can check out our other videos from before.